Hey guys, we have John coming at you with another Awakened Chaos Area video. Today's video is going to be about the upcoming update, what that means for you, what you should be kind of doing to get ready for it, and also, uh, as of right now, recording this, this is Saturday, I believe we have a few more days of the Dawn Guard event, and we're also going to talk about how, what you're going to do to kind of prepare for this upcoming event. It's going to correlate with the events, like what we're seeing right now in-game. All right, so first off, I do want to thank everybody who watched this video. With that being said, I am going to be doing giveaways again. We were given some codes, so I will give away five codes uh, for shards off of this video. So definitely make sure that you watch the video, that you are subscribed, that you like the video. Leave a comment down below saying shards, uh, S-H-A-R-D-S, and that will be the comment generator picker. Uh, with that being said, that also means when I message you, what I'll do is if you win, I will reach out to you and you will have three business days to message me back. Uh, I have a Discord server. The link is down below in the description. If you would like to go ahead and join that server now, uh, you can. And then that way you can message me with proof once once we have, you know, once we've drawn and you, you potentially win the shards. That seems to work the best. I did these giveaways on YouTube last time and they were kind of, uh, it was a little muddly. It took weeks for people to get back with me. Uh, unfortunately, these codes only last to the end of the month. So we only have 20 some days left. So I need you guys to be able to respond quickly. So definitely take this time and moments to follow those steps. All right. So after you have commented shards down below, now let's get into the actual content of the video. I wanna go ahead and I'm gonna pull up their Discord server. Speaking of Discord. So Ace has announced that Greetings everyone, we are happy to announce Guild vs. Environment will be coming to Ace on May 18th. Get your guildmates ready to show everyone what you've got. Okay, May 18th. As of recording this, this is 11 days from right now. Um, in addition, we know a lot of you have been mentioning that you want to see the lock gear function added back to the auto battles. We've listened and we, bring, we will be bringing this back in the next week's patch. Awesome. So... A lot of people, including myself, when you were doing auto battles, this whole auto discord is awesome. Discard is awesome. However, it was really nice to be able to lock your gear as well. So that way you could just highlight, click and be done with everything, right? Well, they took away that feature because they thought in their heads that being able to just discard the trash, you didn't need to lock that piece of gear, which in its own sense is correct. However, uh, if you already have a system, you don't want to break that, right? And it just makes more sense to lock your gear so that way you can't accidentally get rid of it. I currently have a boatload of gear. If I take this away here and I go to my account, I have a boatload of gear that is locked. Uh, I'm actually in the process of trying to do an, a very, very in-game gear cleanse on my own account. And notice I have so much locked gear here that I don't even have enough fodder gear to go into this. So it's locking your gear is very important because I would have accidentally fed so many pieces of gear here that weren't necessarily good pieces of gear. So I'm glad to hear they're bringing that back. That sounds like that's going to be back next update. Those updates are generally Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, so expect that for then. Now, the other thing we want to talk about, and we'll go ahead and bring it back up, is we're going to talk about what does this whole get your guildmates ready to show everyone what you've got. So... I don't know if you guys saw the video I did with Darth Microtransaction. Uh, we kind of talked, we hypothesized about what's going on in the game, what's going to happen moving forward. And uh, he had some interesting ideas about the skill versus environment. We also had the water cooler talk with Jay Giggs, who's on his way to Australia right now. So that's why you probably haven't heard about it or heard from him within a day or two. But I'm sure once he gets to Aussie, he's uh, he's definitely going to be up, up popping. And uh, you'll definitely see a lot of them, I know, for sure. But... We all kind of have this general discussion. We're like, what is the skill versus environment going to entail? It sounds like it's going to be kind of like a clear certain tiles, have certain objective quests, so on and so forth to complete uh, jobs, right? So with that being said, let's go ahead and let's pop up this Dawn Guard event. And we're going to talk immediately about how these correlate. So if we go into this Dawn Guard thing, now I know I haven't done a whole lot of content on this. Like I said, um, I'm sorry guys, I, you know, the girlfriend's been, she, she just went through surgery. I've been trying to take care of all that and you know family comes first i know a lot of you understand that and I, I appreciate that you guys are still watching these videos after me not posting for a couple of days um but we do have this event going on and this event as you see here at the leaderboard i'm only second in my in my guild here but 
this is geared off of like your entire collective as your as your team goes right as your guild goes like as you see here guild battle yolanda has a special reward for guild members to deal significant damage and the dawn guard guard challenge i have not done 31 million myself this is a collective right this is a collective of the entire guild uh we're what i think this is 14 days in, 14 day event we're four days in and we're just below half so that means you know between some of us we're doing a lot of damage so you have to work as a guild to get these all these rewards i like that i like that they're going to encompass some teamwork some some it, like you have to manage what you're doing a little bit more it makes you more involved like for example um if i didn't have this personal things going on right now i would totally be rearranging all the guilds right now to get ready for this upcoming guild versus environment event as well as for this event right now however because we have this event going I, I may try to slowly maneuver a few people here and there. I'm not gonna try to like disband or totally gut guilds and then re reallocate them. But it definitely pays to work as a team. So you wanna take the time now to prepare for this type of an event, um, even for these events, right? We didn't know Dawn Guard was coming. This came completely off guard. We were not warned. Uh, I would like to see them do this kind of content every, you know, I, I would say if they could do this once a month, this would be a great content. Uh, even if they did like two weeks on, two weeks off, two weeks on, two weeks off, I feel like that'd be really, really great uh, switching it up um, thought process. Because if you go in here and you look at this leaderboards, look at all the different characters everybody is using. So this is this segues right into the next portion of the video where we talk about what you should be doing to get ready. So not only should you be looking at your active participants in your guild, making sure everyone's active and contributing to doing guild boss damage and making sure they're active by looking at the Dawn Guard here, but you should also be taking this time to kind of look at impactful characters that maybe you don't have built that you should probably focus on, right? A lot of us get stuck on these lulls where um, I'm sure you've seen my video where I only use certain characters, um, you know, and I got another video where I'm gonna talk about uh, certain characters and different aspects, ratios and whatnot as well. Uh, that should be coming down the pipeline. I don't know, hopefully this weekend I can get it recorded. I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to or not, but we're gonna try. But you'll notice I have a lot of characters here built, but I still don't have them all built. I had to actually build out of Chris. I didn't have them built. I had to do that, do that for Don Guard. I had a 60, uh, my Virgil, H hadn't done that yet. I really need to get Celestial Kane up. I should also get regular Kane up because he has a cleanse. Uh, the new new guy, Bach, I, I gotta get him built. I've slacked on Hector. I, I have so many characters that I need to build right now to diversify, to get ready for this guild versus environment because you don't know what you're gonna face, right? You don't know what mechanics are gonna happen. Like for example, everyone uses the poison damage. Well, you can't use poison damage on this Don Guard. It just doesn't work. So I definitely needed to have other characters ready to go instead of just keeping that in back my head that I'm gonna stack poisons, right? Um, I was fortunate that I built Azrina. She was not somebody I wanted to build, but if you notice and you look in these uh, individual rankings, Azrina is very impactful for this kind of event because she stacks so many debuffs. So that's fine. I think, I know Veiled Shot was using her. Where's, uh, where's old Veiled's um, record up here? He, he, was, he was on the leaderboards. Where's our boy? There it is. Um, there's there and there's his Azrina, right? So she she played a role in this. So if you didn't have her built, you know, you missed out, right? Uh, so that's where I wanted to talk about and bring up is you have all these characters you want to kind of build and get impactful and get, get ready. Now it's probably the time. We don't know what this event is going to entail. We know it's going to be a guild collective, right? Similar to Don Guard is a guild collective for rewards. Um, we know there's going to be some tiles. There's going to be some tile work. So it's probably going to be a, a pick this, pick that, achieve this this quest. Um, I'm interested to see how it actually goes. I really hope it does go something like along the lines of like, yeah, like we're going to have a completely different um, interaction with our guild. That'd be awesome, right? Get, get to togetherness. But for now, get your champions built. Also, you need to start saving some some charms. You need to be doing making sure you do your your endless trials. Make sure you're doing these. I gotta get mine done here very very shortly. Go over here, get your materials. You need to get get these charms right now. Get them get them going. Uh, you want to make sure you have all of them because what's gonna happen is is chances are you may not be able to use the characters you're using right now for the guild boss or for the guild environment, right? 
there may be some stipulations, which means you may need to roll some more gear. Uh, it's definitely, it's always impactful to have these on retainer. Also try to get your potions. Like notice I have a potion here. I went ahead, I finished my arena today to get my hierarchy soul arcana. And then I have five epic ones just in case, right? Make sure you have these resources available. Glyphs, you know, glyphs, maybe don't like stockpile glyphs, right? Kind of do those as you need to. Maybe do them on a few characters that you know you'll use. But pay attention to like what you can be doing in the shop. Like you got the guild vault here, right? Make sure you're doing your guild boss every day. So that way you get your tokens. Uh, maybe if you don't have a Yolanda, maybe start saving up, get you, get you a Yolanda. She's worth investing in. She's a good character. Uh, you have these pumpkins. I wouldn't say necessarily invest in these. However, like a five-star pumpkin is kind of worth an investment because you do need, uh, you need a lot of 60s, right? For this diversity. I would not worry about getting summoning crystals. Those aren't gonna help you. Milk, milk coupons, probably not gonna be that impactful right this second. But like special necklace charms, like these would be worth it. 100%, like if I were to buy these right here, they'd be a solid investment. Um, So be aware of that. Like, you know, arena shop, we get stuff we can buy in the arena here that never ends. Like I could do a lot of arena, and buy a lot of special gear charms. That would be really smart if I were to do that. Um, I, who knows? Maybe I will. Maybe I will. When I go up to visit the girlfriend in the hospital, maybe I'll uh, I'll just run arena for the rest of the day. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm keeping these kind of thoughts in my head as I'm doing this content because, like for example, the Awakening Solar Kana. I'm at 3K right now. I think I get. Uh, I want to say I get like another 400 from doing it today. So definitely keep in mind that like maybe you need to save up a little bit more so you can get the solar kana. You want to make sure you get this. Um, also, I already bought the hierarchy solar kana, like I said today. You want to make sure you get this done. It's 2K. You're going to do a lot of arena battles for that. Make sure you're doing it. You want to have the resources ready just in case you need like that little bit of uh, power from an extension to finish the content. Definitely be wary of that. Uh, don't run into buyer's remorse where you're like, oh, I'm going to spend all my diamonds. I'm just going to go down here and buy all these shards to get ready. Nope, now the time is now to pivot. And when we pivot, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get ready, we're gonna get prepped, and we're gonna get, get moving with the guild environment. All right, we're gonna take whatever this guild is. Imagine this is your guild. Hopefully it's level five by now. Uh, the, only, the only difference that you really see in the level five is it does change your guild shop. Your guild, your guild vault here, um, it changes it. it uh, I've noticed a significant increase as far as like what you can get. It's a little bit different. The, um, it's just, it's, it's one, it's a, it's a good mechanic. However, I just wish Guild was more impactful for you. Uh, there's another change that Guild, er, that it does as well. I'm trying to remember what it is. Um, there's another, there's another benefit to doing the, to having a level five. I don't remember what it was. I did mention to the developers that we need to, uh, like, if we're gonna do this level five and max Guild size is gonna be listed here, we need to be able to scale this up. Um, I feel like that's definitely impactful. It needs to happen. So at some point in time, hopefully they allow us to scale this up. But um, do your battles. Make sure you get those done. Get your pay attention to your members. See who's online, who's not playing. Uh, I just went through our guild and just cleansed it the other day. We're minus three players right now, so I'm gonna go recruit three more people for the main guild. This is gonna be like the whale slash the um, the, the lot of activity. Like these are people who play all day every day. Um, that's the kind of guild I'm running on my main guild. This is the CFE is for the Chofly community. Uh, if you are looking for a guild, leave a comment down below, join the discord. I can hook you up. We have four guilds right now, and we're going to be purging a lot of characters that aren't playing. So we're going to have spots. If you'd like to join in on active guilds, let us know. Uh, for the most part, we've been super active with this game and I don't see it dying out. I know Brad's not covering Awakened Chaos Era, but I'm going to be going heavy on it. Even once Immortal transitions and comes out. I'm still going to be doing daily YouTube videos on Wicked Chaos Era while playing Diablo Immortal. So definitely, I'm not going anywhere. Don't worry. Um, neither are our guilds. So come join us. Have fun. Uh, we got to start paying attention to these quests. We got to get these done. I'll probably I'll probably end up doing uh, Challenge of the Witch, Witch tonight myself. i try to do a lot of it anyways. Um, this, this is just a rip. I hate this stupid thing. I, I, I don't know why it's there. I really don't. Um, but... I mean, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna get everything done. And um, yeah, that's really all I got. I just wanted to give you guys a quick breakdown of what to know and what to what to expect in the upcoming content, you know? Make sure, so if you clicked on the link down below and it brought you to this point, 
as part of the time jump. Here's the outro comments. TLDR of the video. One, go get an active guild. Join mine if you want. Two, get prepped, get resources, stockpile resources. Let's get going. So that way, once you know what kind of characters you are going to need for the guild environment, you can quickly build them. That is going to be the most impactful thing. One other thing to note, that also includes abilities, guys. Tomorrow is Sunday. As we're watching this video, this is going to get released. And all of No Man's Land is going to be open. Go take inventory. See where you're at on ability materials. Make sure you go farm them. If you don't have enough for one character, make sure you have at least enough for one epic, one Lego. And that way, in case you need to build an emergency character, you can because you'll have their materials. Definitely something to take note of. Um, also, make sure you got your charms, right? You need your charms so that way you can upgrade your gear. Maybe take a look at what gear you need. Maybe if you already have all the characters you think you're going to need, maybe you go farm some gear to get ready. I imagine we're going to need some sort of like rebel sets. I imagine we're going to need some damage dealing. So Queen of Tides is going to be impactful. Uh, Ash, Ash is going to be impactful for those AOE champions. I know we're probably going to want this rebel set and divine set. It's probably pretty decent. Uh, we got we got a lot of stuff coming. Definitely make sure you're prepared. That, that is the TLDR of this, you know, make sure that you are prepared, ready to go. I want to see everybody have fun with this. I want to see everybody succeed at it. Let me know down in the comments below if you need additional help or if you have additional questions, I'm happy to answer them for you. That's going to be it for the video. I hope you have to, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Catch you in the next one. Peace.